Eddie, formulas help you make some sense out of the numbers that are in your smart sheet. So let's put a formula in our smart sheet. Let's do it, lead the way. All right, so here we go in for our budget. If we choose the down arrow, notice that we have all of our formulas listed. We have our most frequent ones up here at the top, and then we have our different categories down below, and then the formulas or functions that are located in here. Yes, and Smartsheet makes it so simple, and they look so familiar too from other spreadsheets. That's right. So you should be familiar with most of these. Okay. We'll choose some. Now we could have just chosen the sigma because that's the one that most people use. That is what is located in the toolbar. Yes. In order to get to this, remember we hit the down arrow. Okay. Let's go ahead and choose some. Now let's talk about the syntax of this. So when we're working with a function, we have an equal sign, we have the function name, and then in parentheses, we have what's called the arguments. The arguments mm -hmm. are where is this information located that I'm doing this function to. And so this syntax is the same for all functions then? For the most part, sometimes okay. certain functions will require different numbers, but the great thing about this is it will give you instructions as it's showing us here. Oh, okay. So from here, what we need to do is we need to select what we want it to add up. In my particular case, I would like for it to add up this entire column. So in the arguments, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say I want budget, colon budget. Notice it turns blue. Yes, showing that it works then. That's correct. It turns to blue and lets us know that we did the right thing. Just a thing to note here, if you have column names that are multiple words or end in a number, then you'll have to put brackets around these, just the square brackets around each one of these. So I would have bracket, budget one, bracket, colon, bracket, budget two, bracket. If I had like a budget one column and a budget two column, it would add up everything in there. So just realize that that is a rule that is embedded into this. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and enter. And now we have our total. The last thing that you need to remember here about putting your formulas together yes. is that you have to remember the order of operations. Okay. The order of operations, my, I think, sixth grade teacher taught us, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So you have to pay attention to how you put your formula or function together. Everything in parentheses will get calculated first, then everything that's an exponent, then anything multiplication or division, those are interchangeable, and then last, addition and subtraction. That's a great way to remember it. All right, so the other thing here is child row formulas versus parent row formulas. So we have a few parent rows here. So a child row is just for that particular row and whatever you've put in the formula. But a parent row will encompass whatever is underneath it. And speaking of this parent row, a lot of times we use those for absolute references, which are applicable in smart sheets too. You can put your dollar sign in front of the column and or row in order to make these absolute so it sticks to that particular, in this case, row. This is one of the best opportunities that you have in order to gain insight into all of the numbers in SmartSheet. It's great to know that there's spreadsheet functionality in Smartsheet.